In today's video, we are trying four different methods of cooking eggs TKOR style. I'm making breakfast. Sure, sure, sure. All right, so we've done multiple experiments with eggs in the not too distant past, and as a result, we have extra eggs. They're great analogs for a lot of things. We have shown you how you can dissolve the shells so you can get a rubberized sort of egg. We've used them to inject inks and other things into. They're pretty great for little experiments, but now we just have a lot of eggs. Here's the basic idea. We have a lot of eggs from leftover experiments. We want to try a few different ways on how to cook them. Can we use a heat gun? Can we use thermite? And can we cook them with liquid metal? So on Bon Appetit's channel, they have a video on every way to cook an egg. And they covered a lot wow. of what was like 50, 60. He used a blowtorch in one. He took an egg into the sauna with him. I was so impressed. That was more of a test if you can cook mm -hmm. an egg. I don't think that one actually worked. No, but it's funny to see. He didn't heat it up to the full 180 degrees that some saunas get up to and stay in there for hours. But it was pretty thorough. But I think we have a few more methods we can try. Now, I think he even, that was a while ago. That was probably mm -hmm. a few years ago they did that. Uh, but we had a few methods that we thought seemed appropriate for our channel, and we wanted to try cooking eggs with those methods. So today we've got four different things that we're gonna try yep. to cook some of these eggs. You're gonna crack your egg, mm -hmm. I'm gonna leave mine in the shell, and we're both gonna use heat guns and hope that the heat guns don't completely disintegrate in the process. Well, that's not how you're supposed to crack an egg, but you know what? Sure. Okay. So if this does work, it'll be delicious. <laughs> I'm gonna have to chase my egg around the plate. Okay, so you cooked two eggs at least. I did. Partially. I, I think all the way, I'm not positive. So this was the egg that I originally started out with. You can see the difference. Oh, that's a very hot plate. Very clearly, this one started out cold on a cold plate. So I had to like chase it around with the heat gun. So it just sort of smooshed everywhere. This one started out on a warm plate and the egg itself was already warm because it was one that you had been heating up and then it cracked. So I just added it to my plate. So you can see the difference. This one just got messed up, it looks like an over easy fried egg. And this one almost looks like a chicken breast. <laughs> All right, when we microwaved eggs, they exploded, yep. including one or two of them like didn't look like they exploded or were going to and explode. And then we and jostled I, them. Yeah, hit it and it exploded everywhere. So I'm kind of just gonna tap it duck Jen, a little bit. I'll be over here. There we go. We're good. Oh, we're fine. Okay, crack. Okay. Did not explode. I think you burned it. Uh, well, in this spot, one spot on the shell was burned. It was interesting because like, I didn't have that part of the egg facing me and then I turned it and there was a burn spot. So I'm not sure quite how that happened. I'm thinking maybe it like was getting curved around by the fork. I would say this egg is definitely cooked. It's an odd color for an, a yeah, cooked egg. I've never baked an egg in the shell before. I think that's basically what we're getting here is- Baked egg. Baked Has anybody ever baked an egg in that shell? In the shell. Okay, it all the did. way through. That is a cooked egg with a slightly strange exterior color. The bottom of this egg still had some, some runniness in it. A little bit, the yolk's still there. I did season this one, so it should be palatable. Does it taste like a heat gun? Tastes like egg. All right, so for our next trick, we're gonna need an egg. And we're going to need this. So my idea is that I wanna just sort of bury an egg in thermite. And if that works or doesn't work, then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put like a mound of thermite and we're just gonna crack an egg over it. It'll cook something. Whether or not it cooks the egg all the way through remains to be seen. I think it will incinerate the egg into nothingness. Let's find out. There we go, okay. One fully covered egg. I think it's gonna pop. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think it's cooked. I think we cooked it. <laughs> well, it did incinerate to nothing. See, here's what I thought. Oof. I the middle's still raw? Yes. Yes, because it doesn't really get to the center that quickly. Look at that. 
Very, just, very, very hot, but so short. I'll just go ahead and flip it real quick. Oh, good. You got it. There we go. Now it's cooking. You can, in fact, cook an egg with thermite. Whether or not I don't know about edibly cooking an egg in thermite. Whether or not you get this egg back. Yeah. There we have it. We're going to try one more thing with this. I think that's enough thermite to cook the egg. Okay, here we go. Hope it's enough. Oh my goodness, it's so warm. thermite underneath the egg was slightly more packed down and I think some moisture from the egg itself was getting into it so that part went slower. Interesting. I think that's an egg right there. What have we done to it? Weirdly the egg kept its shape better than all of the thermite. Uh huh. Still, Still raw, raw on the inside. I bet if we just leave it there like there's enough heat that it will cook through though. Nice. Well there you go. Two ways to cook eggs on thermite if you don't want to eat your egg. What's next? Foundry? Foundry. Foundry. See if we can cook an egg in a foundry. Well, that went fast. Hang on, I'm gonna get some pliers. We're gonna put another one down. No, oh, that's okay, it's in there. And it's blackening, and it's blackening. Black, brown. It's cracking. So Mark, my camera guy, says that there's a way you can cook an egg on a campfire where you skewer it and then roast it. I, what? Sure, let's try it. Okay, there's one side. Oh, I got it, I got it, okay. All right. You've got burning spots on yours and the shell is opening and it's pouring down into the foundry. Oh, oh no. The only hope is to cook it faster than it leaks. I'll cook it faster than it leaks. Nope. No, it, it, no. it, it didn't. It poured down into the foundry. Yeah. Just lots of raw egg down at the bottom of that foundry now. Let's see what my roasted egg looks like. Um, well. Hmm, not much left. There's some and it's sort of, okay guys, foundry, uh, don't do it. Don't put your eggs in a foundry. Uh, there's no good way to cook. 2,000 degree oven is a bit much for eggs. Just a little bit. On to the next one? Yeah. All right. For our final way to cook an egg, liquid metal. We're going to try to fry an egg on gallium. I have no idea what is gonna happen here. I've got a candy thermometer in here and I've actually heated this up considerably more than I meant to. It's all the way up to 400 degrees. So I think I'm actually gonna take it off the stove entirely for a few minutes and gently stir it to help it cool down just a little bit. Um, I think we'll try it at around 300, something like go. that. So the reason this idea came about was because somebody wanted to know if we could boil gallium and unfortunately we cannot get it up to that temperature which is 4,352 degrees Fahrenheit or 2,400 degrees Celsius. We just don't have the means to do that here in the studio but we can get it hot enough to cook on so let's see if we can do that. Cool! Nice. Just like the gallium is so reflective like you can just... Woof see like light is bouncing down through the egg off the gallium and like kind of back up through. Now it's doing it less as the egg begins to actually cook and turn white. I'm Still going, going to, yeah, slowly. attempt to lift up can you, just... Yeah, can you lift up the corner? You sure can! So there's a trick you can't do with most frying pans. You can just stick your fork underneath the Into egg through the, egg. the pan and, just and lift. lift it up. Should I try and You should flip? absolutely flip this egg. Flip the egg. It's gonna be a chrome egg. Everything is chrome in the future. Is it sticking? Uh-huh. Oh boy, it's sticking a <laughs> lot. Yeah, not gonna be an egg for eating. Well, gallium is not technically harmful. It is not known to be toxic to humans in any way. That said, I don't want to eat gallium. This Does is... it count as a non-stick pan if it literally sticks to the food? but leaves the pan still. This might be one of my favorite experiments we've ever done. We weren't sure what was gonna happen. This result makes me so happy. 
I'll be honest, I was hoping for just a nice fried egg that didn't stick at all, but it turns out gallium sticks to egg a whole lot. That's okay. Honestly, for a fried egg, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and put it on the plate. Let me uh, cut it in half. Okay. That is a perfect fried egg. You've got a runny yolk, you've got a solid white. It's chrome. No, I'm kidding, guys, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> there are no known we health don't problems know. with gallium. Like, it's supposed to just be safe, even if you were to eat it in theory, but we'd rather not be the ones to test that out. If there's an FDA-run study about the safety of eating gallium, then we'll do that. There we Til go. Till then. It's metal, guys. It's metal. Don't eat metal. Don't eat metal. We shouldn't no, have to I say that. I feel like not even the chemical reactions, but just the effect of having a shot of gallium like in it's your system. Heavy. It'd yeah, be too it would just heavy. like you'd feel it pushing, and it, you'd have to like tip it to go down your duodenum, and then like I don't know if your intestines could handle that. No. And then like if some of it ends up in your as we're saying, don't appendix, eat metal. It's like gonna just be so heavy that it tears it open or something. Guys, that's not all. You know, we've always got more for you to see. And if you like this kind of content, make sure to hit that button to subscribe so you never miss out on the fun. We'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.